Welcome back, hunters. I'm the survival of this, and we return to prehistoric hunt for our last little uh, week of videos to check in with the updates that have come out in that. I'm just going to quickly create game, go solo, everything that we've kind of been for the usual, and hop in and go s start with it. So yeah, with the world revamp update that's been out, it's really good to see a lot of the visual changes that have been coming forward, and especially the model updates for the Ankylosaurus and Triceratops are fantastic. I think it's only a handful of dinosaurs left that need a little bit of graphical tweaking, and then probably the entire roster, I'd say, is probably at a good point where it doesn't really need any more visual stuff to it, or if it does, it's not, like, feels mandatory for it to be done. I think the focus after this update's been out might be more looking into the animations for the dinosaurs and that, as well as their behaviors and patterns. Because I still feel like right now, Prehistoric Hunt leans a little more to being a shooter than a hunting game. And I think it comes down a lot to a little bit of how tanky some of the dinosaurs in that are. Like, one of the things about a hunting game is normally, if you get a vital shot on an animal, it usually is a pretty, well, vital or grave wound, and the animal does not last for much longer beyond it. However, Prehistoric Hunt. There's a lot of species where it kind of feels like that's not the case. So we'll probably try to show that off a little bit this week, as well as some of the, like, just general behaviors the dinosaurs have to them. Like, one of the things is that they seem to constantly be in motion. There's very rare times where the animals seem to, like, stop for an extended period just to, like, rest or survey or graze or anything. I feel like that could be something that could be looked at and done too. Uh, but to start us off, let's just take a bunch of simple little contracts here and see what we've got. So I've got, okay, we got a track dinosaur way up north, uh, Trandons in the area, and a Brachiosaurus to go after. We'll probably start with the Brachiosaurus just because I think that's going to be the easiest one to locate. But yeah, it's been fantastic to see how Prehistoric Hunt has been coming along with its development, slowly getting new additions, uh, revamps of stuff that's needed it. It's been a very steady development cycle that you don't always see when it comes to early access titles. Like, I have to admit, on the first release for Prehistoric Hunt, it did not look like it was going to be one of the games I thought would have as steady development as it has had. I thought it was kind of... might turn into one of those little asset flips in a way, where... The concept and everything is in place, it's a playable experience, but it's not really going to get anything more than what that is. However, I've been thankfully very proven wrong with that kind of conception or thought I had for it. So I'm hoping with a little bit more time and, again, some updates and stuff, we'll see Prehistoric Hunt just continue to get even better and better. I don't think there's anywhere content-wise it's really lacking, though, for the game. Because, I mean, there's been... There's a nice variety of weapons. I hear you. Where? Oh, there you are. There's a nice variety of weapons. There's a good variety of... Oh, there we go. As I was saying, good variety of weapons, good variety of dinosaurs to go after. Oh, I don't even have any health kits, so you know what? I... Well, we'll harvest you, because I'm actually surprised I took him down with as few shots as I did. Oh, one heart and one tail. Okay, that's why he went down so quick. Well, we'll claim that. Um, Yeah, the cave is just back here, so let me go for that. See, that's actually one of the points where... Again, with the heart shot... I don't think the animals, if it is going to be like a lethal wound the animals take, I don't think they should be going after the player again. I think it should be a case of, oh crap, I'm hurt, I need to run, book it, kind of more flight than fight for that response. Maybe for other species it makes more sense to, like, perhaps the carnivores, that'd be a trait to give them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But for the herbivores and that... It does feel a little strange to have them so aggressive at times. If it's something where it's like you've gotten a non-vital hit and you've wounded it, I could see like you provoked it into attacking. But if it's something where the animal is going to probably succumb to what 
the wound was, I think then they should kind of hightail it or try to flee if possible. Yeah, we've got the cave here. There's the tent to sleep in if you want to pass time, which is very handy for those of us who don't like the night hunts. Um, we'll quickly just pop this in here while we're here. Yeah, not, not a lot, but a little bit of coin. Or points, or whatever you want to call it. Now, I am wondering if I sh Okay, hang on. No, this is storage. Although, I guess technically I could drop the shotgun ammo back in there. I was debating whether I should pick up the tranquilizer rifle as, uh, like, an item to grab. I know there's... I mean, I could save up for the 4x80, or... Er, maybe I should save up for that, for, like, our super rifle. And it's like, let me look around here. Uh, there is the rangefinder. The only thing is, I don't know if that would be that handy for us. Uh, there are the health packs. Yeah, just get some of those in. There's the health packs, there's the trank rifle. I do have the tranquilizer crossbow. I just think the rifle probably has such a better range to it and speed. That's not as dangerous trying to go after some of the uh, tranquilizer targets with it. But again, those are also something that aren't always in the roster to be picked up, so... It might even be something I can just leave be for now. I, th I kind of wonder if I should use the bow and arrow for going after Brachiosaurus again. I mean, I know I've done it in the past, but it is something... Because the bow and arrow doesn't really take off integrity for hits. It's not bad of one to use just to try taking down some of them. I do see another Pachycephalosaurus up there. Yeah, you know what? I don't really use the bow and arrow that much, and I don't think there's a lot of other animals that are as safe to use it on as the Pachys. Oh, I'm actually surprised that was a hit. Oh, that. Okay, I see now he's running. There we go. Okay, that was pretty dumb, and there goes all my health packs already. But again, this is a thing where the dinosaurs... Yes, okay, so we did have some integrity loss with that. It is something where the animals might be a little too tanky for the hunting game feel. Shooter-wise, yeah, I can kind of see that. But if you are trying to go for more of a hunting game, it does feel like that's something that could be possibly adjusted a little bit better. Okay. Do I want to use this or do I want to use the bow and arrow like I was saying? Maybe I'll use the bow and arrow because I'm probably going to be relying on our heavy rifle quite a bit forward. Okay, now those are my footsteps. I thought I was hearing something else for a moment there. I don't think it'll be too hard to come across this Brachiosaurus that's out here. Given their size, pretty easy to find them. And then just in case... Uh, how could... Uh, it might not be a bad idea to go for that really good scope. It's like, look at the magnification from the current scope we've got on. It's not bad, but it's also not that much, really. It might not be a bad idea to go for that. Okay, let's try to get out here and... Actually, maybe I'll even try using the Brachiosaurus call. Just try to see if we can locate it a little bit easier. Oh. Okay, I must have put it back into the, uh... Yeah, I probably put it back into the storage, because, I mean, with how big the Brachiosauruses are... They're usually hard to miss. Of course, I say that, and that's... What we're trying to find out here. Let me just go for a little bit of a hike towards the shore. 
should probably spot them soon. I don't know if it'll just be one wandering around here, or there might be a little bit of a group. Oh, and I also hear a cache. Somewhere over this way, I think. Yeah, there it is. Just popped up there. I don't see anything yet, so... Might have to go along the shore a little bit of ways. But I think doing the, uh, just a little two-week check-in for prehistoric hunts is probably going to be the good way to come back every so often to the game as it keeps developing. I don't want to go too hard with too much content on it. Oh, there it is. See it way out there. I don't want to go too hard and too heavy with the content, because I feel like this is a game we could kind of get burned out a little quick with. I'll take the energy pack, and I guess we'll take the rifle. So just these little check-ins, see how it's doing, see what's been new or added or adjusted or revamped. It's probably the best way to be able to just tackle it all together. And again, the rangefinder. I don't... I'm not really sure what weapon it would be all that helpful to be used with. I guess maybe the uh, generic rifles or like the hunting rifle. I'm trying to remember how it goes. You get, I think, a general rifle to start with. It's just called a rifle. And then you can get the hunting rifle. And then I think you go from the hunting rifle either up to the 700 or the 50 caliber. And we've got the 50 cal right now. I can't tell if that's us making that noise in the bush or... It probably is just us. There you are. Uh, you know what? I probably should look getting more than just a couple of animals hunted, so maybe I will just use the heavy rifle on the Brachiosaur. Alright, I gotta remember, it's left alt is the, uh... Hold our breath. Now, will that take you right down, or do you need a second shot? See, at least that kind of makes sense for... Like, if it is a grave wound and it's going to try to run away and... ...stay okay. Although, truthfully, again, it's getting some distance there. Yeah, vital organ hit. That's not really going down. Oh, there we go. Well, kind of went down. They do have a little bit of the weird spring up on the ragdoll physics kicking in, but... One shot can take them down, it's just that it does take a little bit for them to bleed out. So we can fill that contract. And let's see. You know what? Let's try to go for more Ankylosaurus if we can. Because they are one I would love to show off more just because of how much better looking they do look. I and mean, for being one of the dinosaurs that really brought me back because of their revamp, I really haven't shown them off as well as I should have for uh, the series so far. Well, I, I'm not sure if I call this a series or just like a check back and see how it is. Yeah, it looks like if we can head back to the cave, that'll be a good way to uh, try to find one. Um, I don't think that's... It could be a Brachiosaurus, but I feel like it could also be a Triceratops. I'm not exactly sure what that call was. It's been a little while since I've last played to uh, recognize the dinosaurs by their calls. Yeah, you know how to turn it on. Uh, maybe I'll take the contract just to see if I... Yeah, okay, so that way I can at least see, like, where any Rexes are. And I should check that. 
Okay, I do have the Ankyle Sword Call able to go. Yeah, let me just keep running in towards... I can't tell if there's something up there or not. Ah, uh, we're... I think it's going the opposite direction as... Or, like, it's going our direction, too, so we're not exactly catching up to it. So I've got to try to speed us up a little bit. Oh, yeah, see, it's... Yeah, for being Ankylosaurus, it, you wouldn't think it would be that quick, but they can get some distance out from you. Yeah, it's probably loss of integrity for that, but you know what? It was just right here. Let's just get what we can for the points. Silver. Yeah, 71. That definitely hurt its integrity. There's at least a little bit more points we can bring back when we do stop at a contract spot. What I'd like to do is get the Ankylosaur, boop our way up to the Ranger Cabin, take down the tracked animal, and then we can turn those in and see how we're doing point wise. But I think the Ankylosaurus is quite a ways off. Oh, and there's one of our packies that we took down. God, yeah, see, that is still going. You know what? Given the points that we could stand to cash in, I'm going to forget the Ankylosaurus for now, and I'm going to travel up to uh, the cabin to try to get the tracked animal. It just doesn't feel as sensible to go for 15 points for the Ankylosaurus and keep running and chasing, when I could get 10 times that with just the quick fast travel. So I'm going to head here, take us up there, and see if we can find that tracked animal. And you know what? I'm going to quickly get us out of here, because that rumbling was a Rex, I think, coming over the mountain towards us. And yeah, because of how tanky the Rexes are, even with this 50 caliber we've got, I don't think it's a bad idea just to try to avoid them still. I do have the contract to try to get two of them for the 100 points, but... Unless you get a really, really good place shot. Even then, I don't even think a super well placed shot is enough just on its own. You might have to get like a couple of heart shots. Okay, I hear something... Bigger than I thought I would here. Okay, that's something on the run. Yeah, I'm going to follow its advice and just keep running this way too. Because I don't know what that exactly is I'm hearing. Okay, what I'm after, I'm guessing it might be a raptor. Oh, no!
Oh, shoot. Come on. Reload. Okay. There's also some kind of big carnivore in the area. I don't know if it's a Rex. Or a Giga, or what. I just heard all kinds of heavy footsteps. Yeah, I don't have any uh, healing stuff on me, which is not good. Okay, fill the contract to get that out of here and done. See, I heard it moving, but I don't know what that is at all. And that kind of worries me. Like, Giga or Carno, I don't think would be too bad. But a Rex or a Spino, I do not want to go dealing with. Um, oh, see, I need four of those. I will take the Giga contract, I guess. Take that. Okay, well, whatever it is, it's definitely not a Giga, because it's not showing up from the... Ah, uh, the overhead map. Or, well, just the map in general. Let me quickly take us back to uh, the cabin there. Turn in the points I've got, and probably pick us up a few more first aid things. Might not hurt. Well, actually, you know what? I should be good on heavy rifle ammo. We've got over 50 rounds still. So I don't think I need to worry about that. Okay, that's reloaded. That's fully reloaded, so we're good with that. One thing I am kind of curious about is how the dinosaurs react with, like, structures. Like, raptors I know can get into... Ah, uh, the, what's it called? Like, the freight container area with that. Oh, how do, like, say, Rexes or Gigas or Spinos, the big guys, deal with these sort of structures? Yeah, so that's 1676. It's not really that much we gained. Nope. Oh. Okay, I think that's... There we go, and you know what? I'll pick up one more. There, just to keep us going. Yeah, like, with how small this building is, I kind of wonder how... Oh. Yeah, sure, we'll sleep. I don't think we've actually tried sleeping yet, and... There we go. Basically just turns it instantly to the new morning. So, Pachycephalosaurus there. I heard some... Okay, let me see what that is. Is that a trike? It is a trike. This is one of the guys that we haven't been able to really show off all that well. I think I wanted to, but then there was a Rex coming in on us, but... Yeah, the trikes are gorgeous. Like, the texture work is fantastic. The model looks great. I mean, again, the ragdoll stuff does kind of make some of the limbs go floppy or the head bobble. But this was a fantastic update. And definitely one of the ones that super needed it. It was... Well, the Ankylosaurus, I think, was the biggest one that needed it, just because of its size and how often you see them. But the trike here... It's not bad to have seen this update given to them, too. And claim that kill. I'm actually surprised that that had 100% integrity on it. I guess because of their size. Oh, you know what? Uh, doo -doo. As much as I might want to go after the Brachiosaurus, I kind of want to see about uh, the freight container area. Because one of the bad habits about that spot was that you constantly seem to have... Uh, da -da -da -da. Fast. Oh. Okay, uh, let me try that. What do you mean, capacity full? Okay, let me try getting rid of that as well. There we go. And you know what? Let me get the Trank Ammo Pack out of there, as well as the rifle. 
So we should only need the heavy rifle. I want to see if the uh, freight container area still has the problem of like a rafter pack will come in and get you on fast traveling there. Because that was one of the things that this area has always seemed to have to it. It's like you'll spawn in here and within seconds you're like ambushed by uh, rafters or carnivores. I think sometimes it's coffee, sometimes it's raptors. It just seemed like the area, every time I tried it, would always have them after us. Well, maybe not this time. Although, there is something close by that I do want to work at. We've got that Giga, that, or a contract for the Giga we could try clearing out. I don't know where exactly it is. But I think we shouldn't have too hard of a time finding it. And then, <laughs> beware dino. Yeah, I think that sign could have been put in a lot. Okay, well there's a trike. Don't know if our... It doesn't look like anything's after it, though. Okay, kind of surprised he's still going. Yeah, I'll put that down. Ah, use the health pack because, again, you do not want to be too low on health in carnivore country. Claim that kill. That's probably our Giga that just roared out. So let me go and see if I can find it. I want to keep a bit of a distance before I take my shots at it, just because, I mean, it is a Giga, not a Saurus. I don't really have any way of bringing it into us, I don't think. See, judging from the map, it shouldn't be too far from us. So I gotta be careful going through here, but maybe, just maybe we'll be able to see it soon. Okay, no, I think it's, looks like it's going this, okay, yeah, there's probably the tracks of it. Sounds like it's quite a ways out this way still. The gig is actually one that, although it didn't get a model update, it did get a texture update. I guess just to try to make it so that way it was a little bit more unique to Prehistoric Hunt and it wasn't just a Unity Store asset. Which is, again, a good way to do it. It's not bad to use the assets for, uh, like, placeholder stuff, I would feel. But you still should try to do a little something, at least try to make it... I'm more unique if you are going to, like, keep developing that going. See, I don't know. I don't want to follow right behind. Oh, there it is. I just saw the tail.
Oh, there's his head poking out there. Yeah, he's got a way to come in, so I'm going to reload now. And this way I have all five shots. There we go. Actually, not too bad at all. I think one of the reasons why the Rexes can be so hard is... Because of the way their model is, like, standing as they come in, their head blocks a lot of the vital shots you'd want to take. Which, yeah, you... God, you remind me a lot of the Trikes uh, texture works. Or, like, reworked onto it. Really nicely detailed. A little stretched, but I think that's because of the way the model's bent there. Yeah, fantastic. Done. And fill that contract. And I'll prob- yeah, you know what, let me get my little, uh, hunker bunker thing up here. And we'll end this episode of Prehistoric Hunt right here for today. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video or episode, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.